Well, thank you so much for having me, Errol and Tony. So they're really going to take a multifaceted approach to this. Really, the FBI has has two main goals in mind. First, recovery, rec safe recovery of the hostages, and then ultimately, hopefully, prosecution. But really, the first thing that they're going to do is there's um, a new center that was set up in 2015. It's the Hostage Recovery Fusion Cell. And that's going to be D DOD, State Department, FBI, and any other U.S. government entities that have foreign relationships that will help them in working through this. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Gunter and God, and I'm back with another video for y'all. Um, this story right here is actually pretty damn crazy. And it hits home because, you know, I stay in Texas, and this is right on the border of Texas. In Montemoros, Mexico, a border city outside of the United States, uh, you know, close by Brownsville, Texas. Um, recently, four Americans just got kidnapped over there. Um, I believe they're visiting that city to get like some medicine, uh, get like some more supplies or whatnot. Uh, you know, that's a common thing for people on border states, uh, you know, to travel, um, you know, to and from Mexico uh, to like exchange items. You know, a lot of people do that because a lot of stuff is cheaper in Mexico. And, uh, you know, you can go there to sell items as well. Um, anyway, I guess, you know, they have a, a little civil war going on down there dealing with the cartel and whatnot. And it's uh, super unfortunate because the uh you know citizens who are just going there to do their normal commerce or whatnot are getting caught up in that situation and of course you know the cartel you know wants to maximize their profits so they're you know taking people for ransom and uh you know trying to hold people hostage and all that stuff but right now we get to the news we do have some breaking news from texas where the fbi says four american citizens have been assaulted and kidnapped just over the border in mexico these photos are believed to show the kidnapping, which began with a volley of gunfire. Christina Ruffini is in Washington with the latest. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. The FBI says our men took the four Americans shortly after they crossed the border into Mexico. And this video posted online appears to show some of them may be injured. A warning, some of the images in this report are disturbing. A post on Twitter Friday appears to show the moment four Americans were kidnapped in Mexico. One woman walking on her own was forced into a white pickup truck. Men armed with long guns and wearing bulletproof vests are then seen dragging one person after another into the vehicle. Uh, with this case right here, um, they've already said that one person probably got killed. I mean, they already said uh, in, in like in the news footage that um, as they approached the car, because they seen a car driving with North Carolina plates. Um, my thing is, bro, if they had North Carolina plates. Obviously, they didn't stay in Texas. Most likely, these people was trapping. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> these people went down there to go get some drugs, you know, for the love, and they was about to bring that shit back. But anyway, uh, they got caught up, and, and and as the cartel was approaching the car, you know, they started shooting at the passenger side or whatnot. And then later on, uh, there was some news in Mexico that um, there, there was recently one American that was killed. So uh, most people are saying that, um, you know, this, had, this has came from this incident that has recently took place. Um, and... Uh, if y'all if y'all have seen the footage of the uh, four Americans, you know, getting dragged out of their car and put, it looks like they're getting put in the back of a truck. It looks like you know some type of situation had already happened where it looks like somebody had got injured. Possibly it's that person that has been reported um, shot and killed already. Definitely let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comments below. Um, it's crazy how we have this. Like this fucking terrorist organization, the cartel, so damn close to our border, uh, in a first world country, and we have not like took care of the situation. Like we're letting this shit like fester right outside of our border, and now we gotta be in fear of our lives. You know, just 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 if we want to go and travel somewhere, you know, that's not even too far out out of the United States. This happened Friday in Matamoros, Mexico. It's a border town that's only about a 12 minute drive from Brownsville, Texas. The FBI says the four Americans entered Mexico driving a white minivan with North Carolina license plates. 
Shortly after crossing the border, gunmen opened fire on the passengers in the vehicle. All four Americans were taken from the scene by the attackers. Their conditions are unknown. Also on Friday, the U.S. Embassy in Mexico posted an alert about media reports of an individual shot during what appears to be the same incident, warning government employees to steer clear. The alert also reminds U.S. citizens that this particular part of Mexico is a level four do not travel, the highest level warning in the State Department's travel advisory system. The consulate in Matamoros has posted at least four security alerts since February of 2020. Warning of drug cartel violence, crime, kidnappings, and clashes involving criminal armed groups. Um, I highly doubt the Biden administration is going to address this seriously. If anything, they're going to, you know, make make even more uh, lax laws around that area. Um, you know, when things do need to be tightened up, and if Mexico's government can't get themselves, you know, in a position to where they can't control this cartel, then I feel like, you know. Uh, I feel like, you know, somebody needs to step in and, uh, you know, actually be able to um, maintain this problem so it doesn't boil into something that's too, too fucking crazy. Um, because obviously, you know, these these <laughs> these cartel members are, are doing whatever they can, you know, to, uh, you know, like to move their products and run rapping or whatever. It's crazy, you know, because obviously we, we, we went over there, we took care of the Nazis. You know, we went over there, we, we uh, stopped, you know, uh, Kim Jong-il for like, I guess, like starving his people and, you know, mistreating people and all this other shit. But here we have the, the, the fucking cartel right by our border and we're not doing shit about it. Like they're running a whole fucking country down there and we're not doing shit about it. But I got my own theories about that. I'm sure it's because, you know, they supplying us with all the drugs and shit. And, you know, we don't want to cut off that that piece of the pie, um, at least not yet. But definitely let me know how y'all feel about this uh, down in the comments below. This is a very this is a very scary situation. You know, I hope to never, ever, you know, have to deal with these type of people or anything like that. But. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation and what could be possibly done to uh, prevent these problems in the future or if it's something that even could be addressed. Um, but I appreciate y'all for sticking through. Um, if y'all like these type of topics and discussions, feel free to join the Discord. It's going to be in the description below. And I also stream on Twitch. It's going to be the same name, Guntur and God. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all on the next video.